In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Microsoft Office on your Windows operating system and activate it with a valid Microsoft Office activation key. You should have a valid activation key of your valid Microsoft Office account. I have already purchased the Microsoft the Student and Home activation key. And now in this video, you're going to see how you can use this key to activate your Microsoft Office on your Windows operating system. There are two ways of activating your Microsoft Office software. One way is maybe you have already installed Microsoft Office software where you already have Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. You need to open one of these here. Let's open Microsoft Word. When this opens, you need to sign in with your Microsoft Office account. So when I click on this here, it's going to open this. Here, you just need to click on Office User Info. Just like I said, I have already activated this. In your case, this might not be activated and you have these apps pre-installed, but they will not be licensed. In that case, you need a license key to activate your Microsoft Office apps. So what you do is you click on Activate Key and then sign into your Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, I'll show you how you can create an account so you activate your Microsoft Office that way. If you don't want to activate with your Microsoft account, you can also choose the, I don't want to sign in or create an account. You just click on this. It opens this dialog box, then you directly provide your key here. It's going to activate your Microsoft Office software that way. Now, in the case that you don't have these apps pre-installed, here is a step-by-step -step guide on how you can go about it. So how you go about it is you open your browser and go to this website, setup.office.com. It's going to take you here. I'll put this link in the description of the video so you just copy and paste it in the web browser so you come here on this page. You need your Microsoft Office account to get your Microsoft Office key. If you don't have an account, you're just going to create on this create new account button. When it opens, you can just click on create one if you don't have an email address you're going to click on get a new email address when you click on this it's going to open like this then just choose the name of your email address how you're going to call it so here we can say creative academy and here you have two options to choose between outlook.com or hotmail.com then just click on next when you're done with this Create a strong password. It has to be strong so no one is going to hack your email address. When you do that, it's going to bring you to this page where you are required to enter the name. You can say creative and the last name, you can say academy, like this. Then you click on next and what's your birthday here? Enter the details Then click on next. When you're done, click on the next button. It's going to take you to this page where you need to verify if you're not a robot or not. When you're done doing all that, you're going to be taken to a page where you have to log in with the account that you've just created. Then on the next window, you just have to provide your activation key. Once you do that, you can choose your region. Then you click on next. Then you see something like this. Office key confirmed. Office home and students 2019. And on the last tip, if you'd like to get emails from Microsoft, I don't want to get emails from Microsoft. So I'll just ignore this and click on the next button here then you see this window opening which is from account.microsoft.com and here you'll be able to see your microsoft office account that you've activated it's microsoft office home and student 2019. here you have the ability to install your microsoft office on pc or mac all you have to do is just click on this install button you click on that then you can choose the default language it's english in my case you can change to other languages of your choice here the language of your operating system then you just click on install it's going to download this microsoft office setup file which is not very big now this file is executable so you have to run it and open it you also have to give permission to your computer to run this this is why you're seeing this blinking on the screen right now when you give permission to your computer to allow the executable file to have access to the files on your computer it's going to do its thing and it's going to install microsoft office on your machine and so you'll see a window that says stay online as this microsoft office is downloading you don't need to shut down the computer here you also need to make sure that your internet is strong because this is going to take some time when it's done you're going to see this message that says you are all set office is installed now you can start using it so just close this window when you start when you come here to just to confirm you just open microsoft word when it opens like this it's going to check if you if you have an activation key and it's going to detect your activation key it's going to tell you it's going to tell you the status of your office 
and so you might have to sign in with your Microsoft account here. Once again, just enter the email address and the password to log into your account, the one you created, the one that has the activation key to provide the password to your account. And when you provide your password, then click on the sign in and then click on next. And then you see this dialog box that wants you to accept the license. So now click on the accept and now you will see the product activated dialog box showing like this and here you also see start in a microsoft office account to activate this and so you can just just click on the blank document here so just click on the blank document and start using microsoft office microsoft word here you can start typing and doing whatever you want with this this is how you can install and activate microsoft office on your windows operating system I hope this video is helpful. If it was, please leave a like on this video and subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next one. But don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos. And see you in the next one.